Meantime, the World Health Organization's lead scientist on COVID-19 says a number of countries have reported variants of COVID-19. This is not unusual given that viruses experience changes all the time. Most of these mutations and variants will have no impact on the virus itself, but each of them deserves attention, deserves a robust um, framework to analyze them. And what we are looking for for each of them, and there will be more, um, is looking at transmissibility, looking at the severity, the disease presentation, and the severity caused uh, by those who are infected with those variants, looking at the body's ability to develop neutralizing antibodies, and any potential impact on available and future diagnostics, therapeutics, and vaccines. Um, as you know, there are a number of variants that have been identified. The one in the United Kingdom, the variant of concern 2020-1201, we have been working daily uh, with our colleagues in our European regional office, as well as across the United Kingdom at Public Health England and many academic institutions, looking at transmission, looking at severity. The WHO specialist is urging adherence to personal hygiene measures and COVID-19 protocols, indicating that no matter what variant is emerging, protocols reduce transmission. We are encouraged by um, the signs of decreased transmission across the United Kingdom, also in Denmark, in Ireland, and also in South Africa, which has a different virus variant, the 501YV2, that they identified recently. And we see decreasing trends in incidents, and this is a good sign. And it tells us that the public health measures that are in place work against these viruses. As you just heard Mike say, we have to stay the course. The interventions that are in place that we've seen across so many countries reduce transmission. They break chains of transmission. Everything from finding cases, uh, isolating cases, good clinical care, quarantining, supported quarantining of contacts, individual levels of mask wearing, physical distancing, hand hygiene, avoiding crowds, opening windows, all of that needs to, we need to stay the course. We need to make sure that we adhere to all of those measures.